he wanted to say rolling. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. Pop a layer, or two, or three. I should be thereabouts, right there in the full range of it all. What do you think? You like my hat? Is that one bad hat, Harry? I'll play that guitar one of these days. So, yeah, one of the key things that I need to to get right is the uh, is my hair, my white hair, not burning through, getting enough detail out of something that bright. And still getting um, detail out of the dark. So that's what we're going for here. Easier said than done. Uh, okay, so this is the writing stage, the writing session, the initial session for her heart. <laughs> and it's also uh, doubling as a, a lighting test. And get it just right and see where my hair should really be out of the way just to help the whole process of the green screen. Hair is just the toughest thing to do. So if it doesn't have to be, you know, sticking out, what the hell, save myself the, the hassle in the green screen, make it look a little sharper. Okay, so her heart is a perfect example of, of the kind of, the, the time frame in my life where uh, I was writing a lot, where I was looking to write. You know, any little phrase that sort of caught my ear, anything that I thought would pull out a set of lyrics, I was all about that, you know, and, uh, and I had... A lot of time, I think I might have been uh, 79, 78, where I was alone and just spending a lot of time in a restaurant or coffee shop or, you know, and I would always be either reading or writing. And so I was looking for stuff to write all the time and kept the book and, and whatnot. And this song is a perfect example. The idea such a small idea and have it flower out into a song. The idea being that uh, she listens to this, you know, and she'll listen to that, and she'll listen to this, and then she'll listen to her heart. Yeah. And just so, just that idea, um, I thought, hey, <laughs> you know, and at the time, I could muscle that idea around, because, uh, you know, I was just looking for it. Uh, it. It was, again, an E. So chances are that because the chord structure is really straight ahead, uh, that the words were written first. That's what would happen to me often. If I had the whole lyrics set, or at least the premise, you know, like a verse, and then something that would work as a chorus. <clears throat> if I had that first, then the chord changes would tend to be a little on the simpler side. They were simply trying to help what's been written. And occasionally I would hear the melody and have the, and the melody would spawn some words and, 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 or a, a nice chord. And in that case, the chords would usually be a little stranger, a little more exotic, a little, uh, you know, off the, off the beaten path. Um, yeah. So in her heart, uh, pretty simple chord changes. And then I think I added some some things down the line. I thought, you know, I've got to do something besides E and A. And um, the F sharp minor is is nice there, but still advance on the E and A a lot. So. Um, 
it's a good example of of a song where where a lot of experience and uh, and a certain amount of skill can help you sort of muscle your way through it. It's not particularly inspiration. Maybe the initial, you know, thought was pretty cool. And you think, oh my, my goodness, you know, like, uh, yeah, she can listen to this and listen to that, listen to all her friends and what else could she li listen to a tree, you know, you know, you know so the, it's the songwriter that goes, hey, I can, you know, color this and color that and color this. And then the musician's going, well, all right, so it seems like you have the, um, the lyrics structure. Let's see what I can, you know, what I can contribute to it. And perfect, perfect example. That song, that song was a problem child for me for a long time. It finally settled towards the end and, and didn't give me any more problems than any of the other songs did. But for a while there, it was. I was unhappy with my vocal, and uh, but I took another shot at the vocal, and I was much happier with that. And I concentrated on it and worked on it a, a, a little bit. But uh, I give all my songs a rendition number. So when I do something major, like add something or remove something, I will give it the next number up. In, in revision, just so I can, just in case it was a mistake and I can, I can always go back or something. Anyhow, so, and the, and the files, the project files themselves are not very big. It's the source files that, that, that use up the room. So, to save another rendition up, oh, so if you saw my songs on the drive, if you saw the file names, you'd see like, um, you'd see like Valerie, 27, something like that, right? Old Howard, 32. And on, on like that, depending on how much work I did on it, how much tweaking I had to do, how much undoing and redoing I ended up with. So this one, her heart has the highest rendition number yet. I think it's about 86. I, I told you it was a it was a problem child for a while, uh, but it it settled. It it really did settle. And I'm I'm very happy with it, and I love the sentiment, and I love the uh, the arrangement of it, the orchestration of it, uh, and stuff. And really proud of it. I worked hard on it, and um, and I think it it shows it if if, if you give it a listen. All right, I'm concerned with the with the white balance. The 750 from here, at least on its small monitor, looks like it's the white balance is better. The 500 off the television, it looks like it's off. It looks like the saturation is way off, if nothing else. And it's just not right. And, and oddly enough, the 7000 seems to have the exact same characteristic. I thought I set them all to um, 5200K uh, temperature, but it may not be right. I'll find out real soon here. Should I shut the audio off first or last? Last, even last, so I have somebody to talk to. Would. 